So I'm delighted to be here with you today at the Backcountry Homelessness Conference. Uh, I'm going to say a few words, then I think we'll be a bit of time for questions, but I'm sorry it's not a long visit for all of your activities, because uh, you're sandwiched between you doing the DY5 Enterprise Zone Lords this morning, and then the National Ages 2 Delivery Conference, where I'm going to see for myself later. And it was interesting reflecting on the day. Both of those other presentations was real momentum and clarity, and it's a sort of carry on with your work story. This one is more interesting in the sense that there's more sort of head scratching about it as to what are the solutions. So I was reflecting on the three and comparing them. Anyway, what I thought I would do is offer a few uh, suggestions as to the approach we are taking. I'm not telling you who some of my things has got all the answers to this, uh, but I am standing here as someone who is very keen to say this is a real priority for me. Uh, when we had the election campaign, uh, I was struck by many things, but one of the things I was really struck by was the way in which there was a real public feeling that the homelessness issue and the homelessness there are this way, electors often need rough sleeping. Uh, there was a real feeling that this is just not right. Something has gone very badly wrong for us to find the situation that we currently find. So I decided during the campaign myself that I couldn't, whatever the result of the election, to go on without saying I was going to make a difference to this. But very deliberately, on day one of my time in office, I gave the commitment I was going to do that. And I know I will be judged in three years' time on whether or not I have helped all the resources across the region do that, to do too many difference. And I did that very, very knowingly. Some might say slightly rationally, but it was very deliberate. So, uh, the other reason I was very keen to call it out as an early priority if I genuinely believe we can make a difference. Yeah. Uh, you just see the talent in this room, the energy that you've had in your conversations already, and there are conferences like this in Birmingham and in Coventry, and I just think to myself, there is so much determination, so much expertise, we must be able to make a difference. And what I think the mayor can do, possibly uniquely, is get a real focus on this. Convening over these different resources, make them come together to make that difference. And that's why I kicked off by saying we would have a homelessness task force across the rest of the world. One or two points about it, it very definitely and very deliberately is a homelessness task force, not a rough sleeping task force. And the reason for that is very clear. The rough sleeping issue. Numbers vary, I think the latest count is about 130 people from sleeping in the West Midlands uh, each night. It's but a tiny, tiny proportion of the homelessness number, which is probably nearer 10,000. But this is not only just about addressing the rough sleeping issue, it was being about the causes of homelessness, and the whole approach is to be a preventative one going back upstream, some might say, as to what is really causing Second thing I'd say about our approach to this is I wanted to use the skills and experience